So this video is finding the determinants of a three by three matrix and then using that to apply it um, to the same steps that we did in the previous one on Kramer's rule to solve systems of three equations with three variables. Now, when we did the two by two determinants in the previous video, it was pretty easy. We started where you read a book in the upper left-hand corner and you multiply the numbers down in that diagonal and then you subtract the product of the diagonal going the opposite direction. Now it's gonna be similar to that, but we extend it out further. Because there's three values, we're gonna have more than just one diagonal in each direction. So this is the procedure to finding the determinant of a three by three matrix. The first thing you do is you take your first two columns, remember the columns go up and down, the first two columns here, and we're going to rewrite them just as they are to the right of the problem. So here I'm gonna make another column that's the two, one, negative three, and next to that I'm gonna add, I'm gonna include that new column, negative one, one, and zero. Okay. The reason for doing this is so, is because I notice that in my diagonal, I have three numbers in that diagonal. Well, I need to have the same number of diagonals that have that, that three values. So just as we did with the two by twos, we start in the upper right hand corner, or upper left hand corner, excuse me, and we work down and here is a diagonal of three numbers. Okay. Now remember, numbers in a diagonal, you multiply. So I'm gonna take two times one times five. But I'll notice that right next to that, I now have a second diagonal that still has three numbers. So again, numbers in a diagonal, I'm going to multiply. So I'm gonna take negative one times negative three times negative three. And then I see that I have yet another diagonal with three numbers. So I'm gonna multiply those together, three times one times zero. Now, because all of these diagonals are going in the same direction, we're going to add those products together. So if I do that math, two times one times five is 10. Uh, three negatives, an odd number of negatives will be minus nine. And then I have that zero, so that's nice. So the result here is just gonna be a one. Okay. However, remember what we did before, we had the diagonals going the other direction and we have that same situation here in which here is a diagonal with three numbers. So we multiply those together, three times one times negative three. Here's another diagonal that contains three numbers so we're gonna have two times negative three times zero. And then we have a third diagonal, negative one times one times five. And again, those are all going the same direction, so we add those together. Do a little simplifying, we have negative nine minus zero uh, minus five. So that ends up being a negative 14. Now, just as we did in the previous um, set of determinants, the totals from uh, the products going in opposite directions, we subtract. So that first number one, we then subtract the diagonal going the other direction, which is a negative 14. So the value of this determinant ends up being 15. Okay. So once again, in a three by three, we rewrite the first two columns to the right, and then we have three diagonals of three numbers going from the pot, uh, upper left to the lower right section, Numbers in a diagonal, we multiply. Diagonals going the same way, you add those products. Do the same thing to the other side. 
multiply the numbers in the diagonals. All of those products you then add because they're all going the same direction. And then finally you subtract those two numbers because they are totals from diagonals going in opposite directions. So 1 minus a negative 14 is your 15. Numbers in a diagonal, you multiply, multiply. Diagonals going the same way, you add, you add. Do the same thing to the other side. Take your two totals and subtract. Take your two totals and subtract. It's a bam, 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 minus a bam, bam, bam. A bam, 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 minus a bam, bam, bam. So this is the equation that formed that first determinant that I put on the previous page. So we have 2x minus y plus 3z is equal to 37. So you'll see that the coefficient matrix in that first row would be a 2, negative 1, and 3. Look at back here, we had 2, negative 1, 3. And then it was a 1, 1, negative 3, etc. 1, 1, negative 3. And that's where that zero came from because we don't have a Y here. So you still need a placeholder saying that that would be a zero Y, which is why the third column or the third row, excuse me, was negative three, zero, five. Okay. So what we just found here was the determinant of your coefficient matrix for this equation. So now that we've done that, we can set up and solve for the X, the Y, and the Z. Okay. Again, we'll just do one at a time. So I need to find my x. So I replace the x values with my constants. So the first column is always x's. So it's going to be 37, negative 16, and 24. The second column is going to be my y's, which is negative 1, 1, and 0. The third column will be the z coefficients, so it's 3, negative 3, and 5. The value on the bottom would be that coefficient matrix, which is what we just did on the previous page, and came up with 15. So again, to set this up, first thing we do is we rewrite the first two columns. It helps if you try to be fairly neat and organized on this. I don't know how neat and organized I'm being here, but working on that. The second one. Then we have your three diagonals going this direction. 37 times 1 times 5. Numbers in a diagonal, you multiply. Here's another diagonal. Numbers in a diagonal, you multiply. Here's another diagonal. Numbers in a diagonal, you multiply. Those are diagonals all going the same direction, so we will add those products together. Okay, so doing our multiplication, 37 times 5 is 185. Oh, I should go back. Then we end up with a positive 72. Negative times a negative is a positive. And we have that zero at the end, so that's nice, because that makes a nice little zero for us. Add those together, we end up with 257. So if we go up here, it's gonna be 257 is our first number, and then we are going to subtract what we get from the diagonal diagonals going the other direction. So we have three times one times 24. 37 times negative 3 times 0, and then negative 1 times negative 16 times 5. And again, because those are diagonals all going the same direction, 
you add them, the products together. 3 times 1 times 24 is again 72. I like that zero in there. Negative times a negative will make this a positive. 16 times 5 is going to be 80. So this is going to give me a total of 152. Take that number, bring it up here. 257 minus the 152. It's going to give me a result of 105. Now remember, that's the value in the top. So we have 105 divided by 15 to get our x value. 7 is equal to our x. So that was our x value. Now we're going to do a similar thing to find the y value. To find our y value, again, the coefficient matrix, the determinant of that is still 15. On top, I want my x values to be the x values. The y values are what changes into the constants, so it's negative, or 37, negative 16, and 24. And then the third column is my z's, 3, negative 3, 5, careful with those negatives. And we do the same math. Start your diagonals this way, oopsie. My bad. Rewrite your first two columns. 2, 1, negative 3, 37, negative 16, 24. Now we go to our diagonals. Uh, so here we have 2 times negative 16 times 5. Di next diagonal. 37 times negative 3 times negative 3. And the third one, 3 times 1 times 24. Those are all going the same direction, so we add those together. Uh, this ends up being negative 160. Uh, 37 times 9 is a positive. 333, uh, 3 times 24 is 72. That's going to give us 245. So we have 245. Now remember, we did a lot of work, but that's only the diagonals going one direction. Now I need the diagonals going the opposite direction. So we have 3 times negative 16 times negative 3. 2 times negative 3 times 24. And 37 times 1 times 5. Again, those diagonals are all going the same direction, so we add those results. Now we do some multiplying. Uh, 16 times 9 is 144. Minus 6 times 24 is also 144. Oh, that's nice. And then 37 times 5 is 185. So that ends up just being 185. Bring that up here. So 245 minus 185 is going to give us a result of 60. So my y value is 60. Don't forget, it's over 15. 60 divided by 15 is 4. Again, I'm not done yet. So, so far I have x is equal to 7, y is equal to 4, and now we just have to set up the same type of problem in order to find our z value. So again, we go over here to find z. 
on the bottom, we still have the coefficient matrix, the determinant of that, which was 15. On top, we now keep the x column the same. So it's 2, 1, negative 3. We keep the y column the same. So it's negative 1, 1, 0. And now it's the z column that changes. So we now put in our 37, negative 16, and 24. Rewrite the first two columns, 2, 1, negative 3, negative 1, 1, 0. Start with your diagonals, where you read a book in the upper left-hand corner, working your way down. Numbers in a diagonal, you multiply. So we have 2 times 1 times 24. We have another diagonal right next to that. Negative 1 times negative 16 times negative 3. Careful that when you're drawing little boxes around it to see, make sure that you're keeping the numbers and organized, that you don't lose things like negatives. Uh, and then 37 times 1 times 0. Diagonals going in the same direction, we add. 2 times 24 is 48. Negative, negative, negative makes it a negative 48. Oh, look at that canceling out again. Oh, plus zero. Ah, oh, nice. Zero for that first number. Remember, it's zero, and then it's always minus. Then the diagonal's going the opposite direction. Again, be careful that you don't cross out any negatives. That's why it's really important to be kind of safe uh, or, or neat. Um, you also might want to use different colors so that things don't get blocked out. 2 times a negative 16 times 0. Negative 1 times 1 times 24. Those are, again, numbers going in the same direction, so we add those together. This ends up being a negative 111 plus 0, then it's minus 24, which is going to give us a total, they're both negative, so we get to add it and keep the sign, negative 135. So I bring up a negative 135 up here. 0 minus a negative will make that into a positive 135. So z is going to be equal to 135 over 15, which will end up equaling 9. So we get z equals 9. And again, you can check with all of your uh, uh, equations up here that they all work. We got x to be 7, y to be 4, and z to be 9. Your answers are still at a point. This is called an ordered triple because there's three of them. Still in parentheses, same bit. So it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's all about your organization. Keep the colors the same when you're doing your notes. Write down your steps. You rewrite your first two columns. Then there's three diagonals going from the upper left to lower right, three going the other direction. Numbers in the diagonal, you multiply. Diagonals going the same way, you add. Do the same thing to the other side. Take your two numbers and subtract. Take your two numbers and subtract. A bam, 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 minus a bam, bam, bam. All right, good luck, and we'll see you on the next one.